What's going on, yo? I don't do this often, but I have here a quick tip that I recently just kind of figured out on accident. It's pretty cool. It's how to use your phone as an external monitor. There, a common complaint among kind of the A6300, 6500 series is that the, the screen doesn't flip out so you can't see yourself, which is pretty annoying. But I recently kind of accidentally stumbled upon a solution to this which is using your phone as an external monitor, which works surprisingly well. The lag is pretty minimal. You can use all the controls like shutter speed, f-stop. You can stop and start recording. Um, you can have a thirds grid. You can even zoom in and out, which is so chill. One thing you can't do is you can't watch the playback. And then you also can't see what's on the back of your camera screen like the audio levels and things like that, for example. But nonetheless, it's a cool tip, but it works with all different uh, shooting modes. So it works, uh, right now I'm shooting at 24 frames a second in 4K, and it's working really well. Um, I've used it in 120 frames per second, and it also works fine, so. It's sick. Just be aware, obviously runs down the phone battery faster, and the camera battery faster. Probably doesn't have a whole lot of other uses other than scenarios like this, but who knows, you can get creative with it. But it's a pretty easy trick regardless, and I'll show you how to use it. Okay, so you're gonna go into your menu, and then you're gonna scroll over to the application list. You're gonna select that, and then you're gonna go to the Smart Remote Control app, which you can download from the App Store. Um, and then once you click that, it will open up this screen with a QR code. And then you're going to get your phone and make sure you have the Play Memories app, which you can download from the App Store. And then you're going to go ahead and click the scan the QR code of the camera. And then just hold it up to the back of the camera. Click OK. And then it's going to prompt you to install some firmware. And so you're going to go ahead and do that. Enter your passcode. Install. Hit done. Open it in the app and then now you have to go back to your settings and into your Wi-Fi and switch over to the Wi-Fi hotspot from the camera. It'll be called Direct PG, yeah there it is, Direct PG 6300. So once you get connected to that you're going to switch back over again to the Play Memories app and it should work. Hype, there we go, it's working. So once you've got that set up, um, you're just going to go, for the next time, you just have to like make sure to connect to the uh, Wi-Fi hotspot so you don't have to install the firmware each time. But thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any questions. Leave them in the comments below. Give this video a thumbs up if it helped, and subscribe if you haven't already. Um, hyphy, peace out.